Good morning, everyone. We are on a 47 foot Freeman today. Brand new, just got down here. Billy's here with his family and friends. Scott didn't make it. He's, who knows what he's doing. But let's check this boat out. I did one walk through one of these at the boat show in February last year, so about 14 months ago. But uh, this one's got some upgrades to it, some new features. First one I noticed is a windshield wiper. So that works there. Metalwork framework around there. Sealed in. Console in here. Potato chips, some straw hats so you don't get sunburnt. Got your keys. Panel right there. A couple of placards here. Who saw a bull shark yesterday? You saw a bull shark yesterday? Up close and personal. Yeah, it charged me. They were snorkeling and spearfishing yesterday. Bull shark came and charged him right up next to him. Had to poke him, get him to go away. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Give him cookies so he leaves you alone today? Yeah, you want one? <laughs> nah, I'll eat them later on. <laughs> what do we got for lunch? Ooh, sandwiches. There we go. I don't know if we're gonna catch anything today, but worst case, I'll show you a, a tour of the boat. Look at these back here. Big enough to be a little fish box back there. 450 racing motors on there. You know it's fast. Two live wells back here. Put your critters in there. And of course I brought my sword fishing tackle. They had one reel here in LP. I brought a couple hooker electrics right there. Got the harpoon. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing, so. We'll uh, show you around the boat as we uh, as we're out there today. Triple row seats on here. We're facing right here. Stepped up. Is this new on this on this one here, like with a raised seat back there? Yeah, that's the first one he's done. I think. Actually, yes, it is. That's new. So it's raised up higher there. I guess you got more storage here. You can step tilt, on there. Tilt the back so you lean back. Back. Nice and this boat's so fast, and you don't want to fall out that way, so they got them angled back this way. <laughs> More importantly, where's Scott at? Not here. Thank Didn't God. Show up? Thank you, Jesus, for staying in Charleston, buddy. <laughs> All right, I guess it's, oh, it's a here. vacation, so, yep. Got some rods up there. Let's check the top out. That's a big top. Is that top bigger, too? Mm -hmm. Everything's bigger and better on the 47. Supposed to be 10 knots and 2 to 3 feet. It's not 10 knots or 2 to 3 feet. I think we should have run the boat to Oliver on. It'll be clear, but look at it, clear the bell down there. Yeah. We got the curtain up. You can see some weather up here, some storms. That's part of it. I will say the 47 rides, my boat rides great, but this one rides even a lot better.
rundown. What's happening? Drop it. A minute later, hooked up, you know? All right, we're on an exploratory mission. We caught no swordfish. All we did was catch bottom. We're on the 47 Freeman, though. But we're trying a little deep drop, and we got something on now. Hoping it's a big barrel. It's Mr. Freeman. Sally right there. And Joe. You might remember Joe from Scott Martin's eel video. He went viral before. Not sure if we're going viral today, but we're out here fishing anyhow. <laughs> Tell us about that eel. Did you like it? I'm not talking to you right now. Did the now. eel make you squeal? <laughs> like a little girl. <laughs> I don't like them. He does not like eels. All I know is we could use a fish though to salvage our day. We snagged bottom, broke off. But check the boat on out. You guys can see it out here. It's choppy. It's supposed to be calm. It is not calm. It's white caps. A fish though could uh, lift the spirits of the crew and myself included. So we've got good lunch and good food though. Lots of good food in here. Joe said he brought a swordfish gaff. That's what he brought, the little one. Hey, that's all we need. This could be our dinner then. Yeah. We're trying to find new spots here on the <laughs> sim oh right here. Mark's a nice spot out here, 1,100 feet. Right in there. That could be your dinner, Sally. Yes. As long as Joe doesn't mess it up. The pressure's on, Joe. Oh, right, well, you'll have that. Get it in his mouth. Just oh, he got him that time. Barely. Barely. <laughs> oh, he got him that time. Hang on, hang on. I was trying to get him in his lip, but it wouldn't work. Let's get it. Oh, that ought to go viral. There's your viral pathetic All right, there lip you go. Good job, Joe. We're on the board. We didn't get skunked. The hardest one to catch, the first one. Ice is nice and one of the slimiest fish we catch. Probably the slimiest. Let's try to catch another one. Good drop. Thank you. You're getting really good at that. Yeah, I've been working on it. Oh, he's got a big gap out. We got rocked up, we hung bottom. I was rigging up the second rod, but we got it out after about five or 10 minutes. And there's a fish on there, so hopefully it's a big barrel again. What's gonna eat squid? Anything can eat squid. <laughs> Damn, oh, what a rosy. Rosy. What are you gonna do with that gaff? <laughs> Nothing now. That's a big rosy. That yeah, one's a moose. That's a big rosy there. That's the biggest rosy I've ever seen caught. We need him to stay on there. It's choppy and rough today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. There's a barrel. Thank you. Uh, there's a barrel. I think we lost our barrel here, but I think we got one on the bow. What do we got on here? I don't know. I, don't know. I think we got rosies back here. It could be rosies. You guys catching bottom and fish up here? Yes. Oh. Oh. I need some of the let up. Holy moly. Oh. Coming up quick. Fish is swimming up fast. 
The good thing about a 47 Freeman is you're not crowded. If people misbehave, you can put them in the back or the bow. It's a big boat. A lot of boat for a lot of activities. You see them down there. It is a barrel. Big barrel coming up. A barrel of fun. Joe said it always makes you feel better if someone else misses on the gaff too, so here we go. If you all wonder why we're using electric, we got 10 pounds of lead on and 1,100 feet of water. You don't want to turn the handle with all the 10 pound lead on, I promise you, with a small fish. But roses and barrels are good eating, so we're getting some dinner. Hey, Billy, that's the biggest rose I've ever seen. That is the biggest one ever. Here you go. Sweet. Stringer it up. Yeah. He said I say that every time. One bad thing about the 47 is you got to walk further up here to put the fish in the box. <laughs> Joe, you're going to be skinny. Nah, that ain't going to ever happen. You guys see that rod shaking and bouncing? That's our uh, light swordfish rod, a light medium swordfish rod, but also doubles as a deep drop rod for an 80 wide. So that'll be up for sale soon. Are you going to miss as many times as Joe? Probably. <laughs> he said probably. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, oh, we got color. We have color. Oh, there it is. Oh, a little bit more. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, drilled him! Alright, when you guys grab the lead for him, I grab the lead and line it up. Good job. Nice work. Good cap. Woo! Hammer. Jules is on the board. Big barrel, biggest one of the day. The biggest one you ever seen? And the best gaff of the day. He's the biggest one I've ever seen. I say that with every fish. He's the biggest one of the day. Best gaff of the day. We'll ice all those down on the way home here and get them nice and cold and chilly. Super slimy barrels on the 47 Freeman. That wraps up fish on the 47 Freeman. 
We didn't get a swordfish, but got some good bottom fish and uh, fun day on the new boat there, getting to spend some time on it. So thanks for taking me, Billy. Thank you for you guys, If you guys want a Freeman, get a hold of these guys to get you set up. We're signing off. Ouch. Oh no! Oh. Oh. I'm trying to get it in his mouth. Just oh, he got him that time. Barely. Barely. Oh.